I got half a mind. Huh. I've got half a mind to look for the other half. Something tells me it's not too far away. Good luck collecting your debts after I'm dead, losers. I move some funds around. I could postpone paying those bills, but not these. Oh. I went to school for medicine. How did I end up stressing about money management all day? Well, I just need to put those thoughts aside and focus on the children. Their safety is the most important thing. And it's not just because a lawsuit would bankrupt us right now. That casino mission would be good experience for them, but it's too risky. What if I let them go and the worst happens? <sighs> Need to focus. Only one unfathomable fear at a time, Forsyth. If Hollis associated risk with something more positive than death, it would open her up to so many more missions. I mean... Life experiences. Eh. I'll take this nugget. want to bug her in her quiet place, especially when she's pondering big ideas like death and money and stuff. Soap when cleaning my produce, especially the cilantro. It's the only way to kill germs. When you pick up wild mushrooms, you really need to clean them thoroughly before cooking. Mm, mushrooms really do add a savory heft to any dish. If Hollis wants to solve her money problems, she's gonna need to accept some risk. What if my husband starts wearing socks with sandals? Could I still love him? Oh my. I just remembered how dire the Psychonauts' finances are. Mm. That's not the change I was looking for. take risks, but what use is it? Who am I kidding? 
If I wasn't worried about something, I wouldn't be me. It just means I care. I just remembered how dire the Psychonauts' finances are. If the Psychonauts... Yes. Yeah. If I let those children go on that mission, they would surely die. Interesting. But that's not going to help us go on that casino mission. Sure, it's fun to take risks. But what use is it? I think I just figured out how to solve all our money problems. Hey, Teach? What gives? I was in the middle of a sweet hookup there. Guess what, kids? You all did so well on your lesson. How about we give your new power a test drive out in the field? You mean we're going on the mission? For real? Isn't that dangerous? You know what they say, Sam. Nothing ventured, nothing brained. I don't think that's what... Let's roll. Heck yes! Cool. All right. Sweet. Um... Woo! I'm so glad you changed your mind about the mission, Agent Forsyth. I was nervous about bringing the children, but if you feel that it's safe, then it must be. It's crucial we find out what these delusionists are up to at the casino. With you handling tactical command, I'd say our probability of mission success has risen 35%. I'll take those odds. Now how long till we reach the Lady Lectopus? We are almost there. Agent Forsyth? How are you feeling? <laughs> Lucky. Well, we're here. Using a false identity, we've secured a high roller suite to use as our base of operations. Now, children, you are not to leave the suite. Like most casinos, the Lady Lactopus has a strict no psychics policy. Weak. Be happy for this chance to observe Agent Forsyth in action. Teacup, this is Shoehorn. We are nearing position one. I'm moving down the primary ventilation shaft, and Dustpan is approaching the front desk. Teacup, come in. Are you there? Smallest. Hmm? Oh! <gasps> Rasputin! Don't sneak up on me like that. Listen. Do me a favor and run up to the jet, will you? I need my... dowsing goggles. I left them on my seat, I think. You wanted to be on a mission. Now here's your first objective. Fetch my dowsing goggles. Okay, but 
Hurry! Our window of opportunity is closing. All right, I'll be right back. Hmm? Oh, yes. Shoehorn, this is Teacup. I what have you no doing, vision. Morris? Teacup? I'll tell this you what I'm Dustman. not doing. I'm approaching I'm not watching one. the pre-semi-final practice vote to find out who's maybe not going on, on going to the next in, round of pop clerks. After they're distracted, I'll drop to the office and find the room number that belongs to this key. Just make sure to disable the main fan. I don't see any dousing goggles anywhere. I mean, to be fair, I have no idea what they look like. I've actually never even heard of dowsing. Oh no. Agent Forsyth, where are you going? Oh no, Hollis, what did I do to you? Rasputin, is that you? Mia? Sasha? Agent Forsyth is missing, but don't worry. I'll find her. Hurry, Rasputin. We're in big trouble here. Yes! Please find Agent Forsyth right away! I don't know how long I can... Hold on! Oh. I'm on it. Whatever. I can't go into the hotel. They have anti-psychic detectors. Hollis must have some way to hide it. Alert. Weak psychic activity detected. Weak? Did Agent Forsyth say where she was going? She just said she was going to solve all of our problems, once and for all. That's not ominous. Who says that's ominous? Nobody thinks that's ominous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can catch up to her this way. Yeah. <gasps> <sighs> <sighs> oh, wait until Truman sees all the money I'm going to make. Hollis, wait! Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jours. Ladies and gentlemen, place your bags. Don't worry, Agent Forsyth. I can fix this. <laughs> Mesdames et Messieurs, rien ne va plus. Ladies and gentlemen, no more bets. It's different. But 
Maybe it's not so bad? Yep. Agent Foresight? You in here? Oh, I don't like this one bit. Hollis had a spontaneous change in her worldview, unrelated to my inappropriate meddling with her thoughts. Who am I kidding? I need to find Hollis's quiet room again and break that bad mental connection I made. Uh... Uh, yeah, mind stepping aside, buddy? This is an emergency. No, you don't mind, or like a general no to me existing.
Otto was right. We should have bought some side pops. So, uh, your ghosts don't have to walk very- Oh, never mind. 